The centre has notified the Citizenship Amendment Act four years after it was passed in Parliament. The Act essentially expedites the citizenship process for non-Muslim migrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan who arrived in India before the 31st of December 2014. There are protests in some pockets of the country. Chief Ministers of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal have said they will not implement the law in their states. Parikshit is standing by with the details. Uh, Parikshit, uh, uh, you know, uh, the road ahead now as far as the actual implementation of the CA is concerned, uh, what are you picking up? Well, uh, the BGP considers this to be a big shot in the arm just ahead of elections. Amit Shah, the Home Minister, is saying this is the attempt by the government to give a dignified life to refugees in the country. We have already seen very strong statements from chief ministers of Kerala, of Tamil Nadu, of West Bengal. Uh, all these three states are unlikely to implement the Citizenship Amendment Act law. Uh, in fact, Mamta Banerjee has gone on to the extent of saying that uh, if this law is against the people, then she'll fight against it. Uh, Pinaray Vijayan has called it divisive. Uh, we've got uh, mixed reactions coming in from different Muslim groups. For example, AIMIM leader Asaduddin Uvesi has said that this law is meant to target Muslims. The All India Muslim Jamaat has welcomed the law. Sikh groups have welcomed the law as well. IUML, uh, the Indian Union uh, Muslim League, has filed a plea in the Supreme Court seeking a stay on uh, CA law. In fact, there have been a number of petitioners who've gone to court today. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Samajwadi Party leader Akhilesh Yadav, Congress's Jairam Ramesh, all these are leaders who've spoken out against the law, saying that uh, this is only meant to distract from the controversy around electoral bonds and also issues related to livelihoods, employment, inflation uh, in the country. So uh, there are likely to be protests uh, against the CA law all across the country. We are seeing opposition parties call for protests in Assam. Student groups are protesting at the Madras University. There have been reports of protests from Jamia Millia Islamia uh, as well, uh, from Tiruvannanthapuram, the Kerala capital. And all across the country, the police is on a state of high alert, uh, on a high state of vigil. Deployments have been stepped up to check any untoward incidents or protests that may happen. All right, Parikshit, appreciate you joining us. We will end to a break, but up next.